Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about the common source stage diophyletic load with an example. So in this example, uh, we have to find the gain of the following circuit if M1 is biased in saturation. Okay. And IS, uh, that is the current source is given. And this uh, IS current source is carrying a current which is 0.75 times of I1. Okay. So what we get from this, that is voltage gain can be find out as V out by Vn. And it can be done as minus of Gm. As we can see that this diode connected device is PMOS and in PMOS, we should neglect the body effect because it doesn't affect our gain. Okay, so in this case, we have seen in the previous lecture that the gain of the device is minus Gm1 into 1 upon Gm2 in parallel with RO2 and RO1. Okay, if we ignore the channel length modulation, RO1 is equals to RO2 is equals to infinite, we will get voltage gain is minus Gm1 upon upon Gm2 parallel with infinite, parallel with infinite, which will become minus Gm1 by Gm2. Now, substituting the value of transconductance of this transistor 1, as well as of the diode connected device 2, what we will get? We will get a negative sign under root of 2 mu n cox W by L1 ID1 upon 2 mu P cox W by L2 ID2, which can also be done in the terms of overdrive voltage, that is, twice of ID1 upon VGS1 minus VTH1 upon twice of ID2 upon VSG2 minus a mod of VTH2. This already we have derived in the previous lecture. So in this case, it is given that, in this case, it is given that IS is given as 0.75 of I1. Okay. So for this, the current in this device that is the PMOS diode connected device, the current will become ID2 will be equals to 0.25 times of I3. Okay, because this current, this ID2 current, this is ID2. Okay, this ID2 current and IS current both makes I1. So ID2 is 0.25 times of ID. Uh, I1 or I can say ID1. Okay, so substituting this value over here in this equation that ID2 is 0.25 times of ID1, what we will get? We will get the gain becomes twice. Okay, twice of negative sign, twice of under root mu n w by L1 mu p w by L2. And this gain becomes four times. Why it becomes four times? Because uh, here we will keep this value as ID1 and ID2. Here we can keep the value of 0.25 I1 and here I1. Removing this negative sign, it will become four times. Okay, four times of this of this term. So four times of the overdrive voltage of two and overdrive voltage of one. Okay. So what we will get this from this, we we'll observe from this example that for a fixed transistor size that we are not considering that W by L ratio uh, is different for the device and as well as for diode connected load. We are considering that for same transistor size using the current source, using only the current source IS what we have used in this example, increases the gain by a factor of two. Okay, we have seen in this case that if these are fixed transistor size W by L ratio is fixed, this gain is increased twice of the previous gain just by using this current source. While for a fixed overdrive voltage, what we will get is the current source increases by gain of by a factor of four. Okay, this gain increases by a factor of four times the previous gain. For a fixed overdrive voltage. Okay. And for a given gain, using the current source allows to make us diode connected load four times smaller. 
okay and if we compare this w by n ratio with the previous w by n ratio then this is four times smaller okay using the current source and for a given game using the current source allows to make overdrive voltage of the diode connected load four times smaller so what does it increases the headroom for voltage swing okay so only by using the current source our gain increases by a factor of 2 while we gain in for a fixed overdrive voltage the gain increases by a factor of 4 and for a fixed transistor size the gain increases by a factor of 2 okay so this is an example for a diode connected load with a current source thank you